Pollen on the leaves still. Someone picked the bloom recently. Ah, uh -huh. another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Grenist has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerge drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Grimace to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. But even we know not to venture to some parts of the isle. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A lesion? An axibrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Fresh, others faded, all leading in the same direction. Oh, no, no, oh, stop, please. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is great. No, no, stop, <sighs> please. Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> Two can play this game, you horny goat woman. Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramond, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here... You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. Nonsense. I need no spell. These boys come here themselves. In fact, I must use magic to drive them away. Make them go home. Only Ramond was nice, so I let him stay. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster! I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches, especially not out of gratitude. Tell me why not. Is it the scars? I detest when a man smells of blood. You witches always reek of it. Fiend blood, trot blood, and these are my brethren. You're right. But unlike fiends and chorts, you... Have ample breasts and a pretty face. I know. Their lack of these attributes is that what makes them easy to kill? It's a bit more complicated than that. But never mind. No means no, I get it. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. 
And you, Ramond, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy. Peacefully now. Distilling recipes. Parchment's a little faded, but legible.
got lucky. Bit of mash left. Here's where the mash goes, probably. Done. Now to boil the mash. Ought to be enough. Time to cool it down. Other. Come on, Roach. Let's go. I begin, you must all enter your homes, shut the windows, lock the doors. I don't like this. Shouldn't be risking your life for us. But we'll do as you say. You Fritjof? That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me. Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> a man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Gramist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him, for old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass in pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear that... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill, involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Animal sacrifice? Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. Ah, it's starting. What now? Flutter Himmel! Flutter Moiler! Flacker of Blitztar! of them.
not managed to storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah yes, unfortunately they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Grimace now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have to help him with his ritual. Till then. Got an offer for you. What's this offer? Got a contract for me? Might do. If you're willing to partner with me. Usually work alone. Could pay to make an exception this time. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga, Jenga Fred himself. I'll bite. What's the famous Jenga Fred need a witcher for? I'm guessing you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. You hunting them? Aye. Quite the rogues they are. Three of them. And everyone's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. He even took to grave robbing lately. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks see three yellow tops, they flee to their huts. Which don't help much, of course. Because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do, tread careful. They're quick to stick a knife in a man's gut. Often just by way of greeting. Doubt they'd try that with a witcher. You never know with that lot. Right. Well, I head south soon. Haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. We might meet again someday. Oh! Watch where you Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the Inner Circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a meddler. Suffice to say, it's a burning matter now. Shoot!
I must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, as the bears from Moose Gordon and spirit from Hale Hill. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Gerd, I thought I told you to s stay outside. Only dreads and the inner circle. Shurgle, Smurgle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Gerd, let the lessons begin. Drink hard and study hard. I like the idea. Yeah, yeah. I call it stimulation and assimilation. First you stimulate, and then <laughs> you assimilate. A shut down. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this, and go. Who said old age is a burden? What do you want now? I taught you all I know. <laughs> <laughs>